five years from now in, in the arm wrestling world, who do you have as the top three athletes of North America? And you could include yourself in this list if you believe you're one of them. Mm. And I'm talking in the supers only. Well, I don't think, I, I don't think Devin's, I mean, I could be wrong, but I know that, you know, he made a video talking about how, you know, if he were to continue chasing the number one spot that it would kill him probably. Uh, so I kind of take that as Devin's probably, probably not going to get big anymore. If I had to guess, I don't know that. I mean, he could probably be 250, 260 though, and still compete and be one of the top North Americans. Um, In five years, you still think he's going to be there? I don't know the answer to that. They've all been in it. Those, those top three, four guys have been in it so long. It's hard to say what five years will even do because, you know, when I first met Michael, he was, he was talking about quitting then. Yeah. You know, uh, when he lost to push guard, he talked about quitting. And I think that was in like 17 or something. But you don't think guys like you, bro, are going to be the ones coming up pushing these guys, man, and and, and kind of no, like no, no. knocking I, I them think out. That, I think that I I don't have a doubt that I'll be at that level, but I don't I don't know which ones will stay in it with us. You know what I mean? Like I don't have a take a guess, bro. Like I, I mean, where do you think you're going to be in five years? Do you see you as as wearing the crown of North America by then? I mean, that's definitely the plan. Um, I mean, even just the last year has been pretty crazy. So, I mean, I don't even know. You know, I, I mean, you hope- asked me this question, bro. I say right away, you. I, I said that that's it. I mean, he's, he's number one. That's in my eyes. I, I feel you're already, you're already knocking on the door to the world stage. And, you know, you show you belong there. And uh, I really think you're going to even give them a run for money by five years from now. Cause I mean, what are you, you're six, you're coming on six years now in the sport, right? Yeah. Um, around October, November will be my sixth year. That'll so be, the, it, yeah, be five full years. It's taken you five years, bro. And you're on the world stage competing against the top 10 guys, giving them serious, serious matches. So you're telling me in another five years, you're not going to be there. And no, I think I, I just don't know who the rest of the list is. Okay. So we know, I we mean, know you, we got you ironed out number one, but uh, what about guys like, uh, you know, we got Derek Smith over here. We got guys like BJ Fakakis. We got guys like uh, Chance Shaw. Um, who else is coming up, man? You guys, you got to know the up and coming guys what about um, who else is there out there? I mean, I do, but there's such a, it's just tough. Um, would love to see BJ be one of the guys. I'm sure Derek and Chance potentially be right there. Um, the only unknown about Derek, if he's been in this thing a long time. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I think he has the potential. And I think we'll, we'll see how he does at East versus West. Yeah, so we got uh, August 6th. I forgot about that one. He's uh, got a big, big match coming on. Uh, Engen Terzai said another great match, and he's going to be going against Revis, who we know that uh, Revis just got the win against Monster Michael Todd. So how do you think that's going to gonna turn out, bro? Do you think uh, Derek Smith is going to get the win that day, or Revis is just a little too much experience for him? It, it's kind of like the situation that I've been put in the last couple times. It's long. Derek doesn't have to win. He doesn't have to. And, you know, if he does, that's great. And if he doesn't, as long as he can make it look like he belongs, that's all he really has to do. He can't lose, which which I have no idea where um, – who did he lose to at the last one? Um, Morozov. I have no idea what Morozov's level is at. He might have crushed me too. I don't know the answer to that. But he can't lose like that again. That's the big thing. It has to be. And again, I think it showed with me and Alex. He doesn't even have to win a round. He just has to make it interesting like he can compete at that level. That's all he has to do. If he can if he can have two or three matches that are grinders, even if he loses them, he's fine. He'll be he'll gain huge, huge stock. 
Is he our, one of our hopes, though? Is he going to be one of the top three guys in five years from now? I mean, I gotta, I gotta believe yes, because if he's on the world stage right now, I mean, there's nobody else on that world stage other than I, I'd say you two as the oh, and Chance as, as the three guys that are on the world stage already. So I mean, yeah, I got, I, got I, I don't doubt that, but that's up to him. I mean, obviously he's pursuing it hard. Um, you know, he said himself that he let a lot of things mentally get him at the last match and that's the kind of stuff that you know i think you're going to be his biggest downfall is just finding that mental toughness to be able to get through anything you know i mean we'll see now who do we give the third spot to um i i want to put it up between uh you know bj fakakis and uh chan shaw who would you think would, would deserve that um, mind you, five years we're talking, so you know we still got a lot of growth between yeah, both. So guys. BJ's on a much bigger frame, but Chance has been on a better trajectory. Um, I think that we'll see those guys compete before long, and that could say a lot. I mean, I don't. That's hard to say. We actually, I don't. I don't think the- BJ. I'm sorry to cut you off, but uh, you, you just said that Monster Michael Todd in, in uh, the Monster Factory 3 in December actually set that match. I believe we have Chang Shaw going against BJ Fakakis. Okay. I, did, I, did, I didn't know if that had been released or not yet, so I didn't want to. Yeah, I mean, that'll that'll tell a lot. I mean, BJ is, is really good. I mean, and Chance is really good. It's, it's hard to say. BJ is not. I don't know what BJ's age is, but I would assume somewhere in his mid thirties. I'd put him at like thirty four. Not really sure, yeah. but I'm thinking. So I mean, he's pretty young. I mean, he again, as much as he wants to put in it, you know, he'll probably see out of it. I know that he, in the past, has said he doesn't want to do the things that it kind of takes to be at that top level with the. Uh, pancakes so you know i don't i don't know i don't know it'll just be interesting to see i guess but i'm gonna put you on the spot right now i need the prediction who's winning bj or chance that day um you should know this bro you grip up with both of these guys well they're just so different um i think bj bj causes a bigger problem for chance than chance does BJ. But I'm not saying that chance won't win. I just think that he has a little more to overcome with the big hand and the long lever and styles being very similar. Um, You know, it's kind of like what you've seen with um, Alex and Hermes, you know, Hermes is, phenomenal but didn't look that great against Alex because they were both trying to do the same thing but Alex had all the advantages it's going to be a very similar thing with Chance and BJ BJ 6566 you know 350 pounds with a hand bigger than mine and a forearm that's probably two or three four inches longer than Chance's so you know, if he can shove forward and get all that hot, you know, whenever they say go and can, you know, roll and get Chance's hand to roll, that's probably a problem. But Chance is on a really good trajectory, and Chance is a little, I hate to say a little more dedicated to the sport, but his life is a little more the sport, probably a lot more. You know, BJ's got a lot of the things going on, running a business and and things, and uh It'll be a good matchup. It'll be very interesting.